Let's sous vide. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Wright and today we're doing our first sous vide challenge. I went out and got myself an Anova sous vide machine. Uh, this is essentially a water bath technique of cooking um, used across the world. It is not anything new. It's just become a lot more affordable to the consumer here in the past few years. So today went out, grabbed us an Anova sous vide machine, got us some lamb chops. We're gonna see if we can sous vide us a great set of lamb chops using this machine. So let's get to it. So today, lamb chops caught on sale. Hopefully they're still in great condition from the grocer. Gonna take them, put them in some Ziploc bags with a little bit of European butter, fresh thyme. We're gonna submerge those into the sous vide machine. We're gonna start the cooking process. We're gonna take those out once they're done. They reach up the tip. We're gonna take our sawzall and our torch and a hot pan and sear both sides at the same time and go ahead and complete it. So with that being said, let's get right to it. All right, all in all, after about two hours and 15 minutes, here we have our sous vide lamb chops. Seasoned with a little bit of Elk Creek, hog knuckle honey chipotle season, a little fresh thyme, a little European butter. The look is very good. <clears throat> so we're gonna get the cast iron heated up so we can go ahead and sear these off, cut into them, and then check out our results so let's get to it
a few moments later. All right, and here we have our finished product, a couple of seared and sous vide lamb chops. Um, these are the bigger chops than the standard lamb chop size, but they are chops. So we'll go ahead and get into one after we cut it down. I'm sorry. We'll go ahead and get into one, slice it open, let you guys take a look at it after we've got done letting it rest after the syrup and see the results. Let's remove this little piece here. One thing I will say, the moisture is pouring out. It looks very good. Smells great, looks phenomenal, and full of juice. As you can see, a little pink on the inside as you are supposed to cook lamb chops. Very good, nice sear. Amazing cuts, a little taste one. That's pretty good. Not bad if I must say so myself. My first time actually doing sous vide and this is actually pretty good. Plan to master the technique a lot more, but as a start, this is a great experience. And I'm glad to um, have had a little bit of success starting off. So a lot more to come using this technique, using this product. As always, thank you guys for checking out the channel. Remember to always like, share, and subscribe to everything we have going on here on the channel. And always remember, YouTube can do amazing barbecue the right way. See you next time.